Hello everyone, I'm Combat Daddy, and this is my take, where I discuss anything and everything. In today's episode, I will be discussing how truly dysfunctional our government has become. Let's begin with the lobbyists. <laughs> the very fact that our politicians can be bought, and bought by special interest groups absolutely sickens me. It really does. Uh, the fact that we allow businesses to influence how and what our leaders choose to vote for absolutely flies in the face of what our founding fathers wished of us. Furthermore, by allowing lobbyists to line the pockets of our politicians, we are doing nothing but feeding into the corruption that is pervasive in Congress. This cannot be allowed to continue. Now on to another subject that irks me. The lack of term limits for members of Congress. Man, oh man, oh man. I firmly believe that without term limits, we are stymieing progress as we strive to become a better country. We simply need fresh blood to bring in new and creative ways of running our country. It will also allow for politicians to be more relatable to the current generation of working age Americans. If a two term limit works for the President of the United States of America, then it can damn well work for Congress. I am not the only one that feels that our government is going to hell in a handbasket. According to an Associated Press NORC Center for Public Affairs Research poll conducted this month, 53% of Americans say they have hardly any confidence at all and how Congress is run. 53%, guys, that's more than half of us don't even trust or have confidence in our, in our government. That says a lot right there. Frankly, I'm surprised that the number isn't higher given all the infighting within both the Republican and Democratic parties. To start, we have the Republicans who have had two circus events trying to elect speakers of the House. It's just a really pathetic thing to watch. Then you have all the bickering between MAGA Republicans and the traditional Republicans, with the House Speaker voting just being a perfect example of this. Across the aisle, we have pretty much the same thing between uh, uh, mainstream Democrats and those on the far left. There's a lot of splintering going on, guys. Then there's the lack of uh, bipartisanship between the two parties as well, where... <laughs> We can't even agree on what day of the week it is. <sighs> on top of that, politicians are more concerned with their own personal ambitions and, the, and their drive to obtain power. It's just that simple. On, and on top of that, even, uh, they're just tone deaf to what their constituents want. Why they, That's why we put you in office in the first place. You're just going to blow us off for your own personal gain. That just doesn't work, guys. In the same poll, about a third of Americans have hardly any confidence in our Supreme Court. Small wonder given that the justices are too influenced by their political affiliations in a job that, quite frankly, you've got to be non-biased. 100%. You can't let politics influence on how you may rule on any particular subject. It's just Shameful, very shameful. It, incidents such as Judge Clarence Thomas accepting money from, from a billionaire GOP donor to take his personal trips to Hawaii or wherever the heck he went. It, <laughs> it's just not what we need to be witnessing as a country. Uh, our justices should not be able to be bought like that. The same poll, on a good on a good note, also shows that only 17% of us show hardly any uh, say that there's hardly any confidence at all in our U.S. military. So that that's something I personally can get behind. <laughs> in closing, it truly saddens me to see the direction the country I fought for in the hot sands of Iraq going going down the path that's going. Uh, we were once a mighty country. Everybody looked up to us. And now we've pretty much just become a laughing stock of the international community. Anyway, I thank, for, thank you 
I thank everyone for tuning in and I welcome any comments you may have and or ideas of any subjects you may want me to cover in the future. Until next time, Combat Daddy out.